and train death battle with a lousy, putrid, disappointing, one in five death battle record for this year. Your challenger, Javante Jones. 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 Boo. You trash. Pick better. <laughs> and your front runner, your two time champion, coming into this death battle with the great five and one record. DeAndre Jones. Jones, Jones, Jones. Yeah, DeAndre, we love you. Great. You're an amazing picker. Let's go. Uh, so what is up, you guys? Dre and Jay here today to do a death battle reaction. This one is to Yoda versus King Mickey, Star Wars versus Kingdom Hearts. This is a this is a pretty tough one. This is a extreme that battle. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go from King Mickey here. I'm probably gonna go Yoda, but I'll I'll make my father say something. Okay. Alright, King Mickey, King of Hearts, Mickey. And then it, that's a whole that's, the Yoda. that's a whole different beast right there. Hey, you don't you don't pick a you don't pick against the mouse. Let's see. But yeah, let's check it out. This probably before Yoda was owned by the mouse. I guess we're gonna find that mouse is OP, bro. Let's see what you got. Yoda, the legendary Jedi Master of Star Wars fame, and the King Mickey, his highness of Disney Castle from Kingdom Hearts. These two have proven time and time again that size matters not. But let's see which of these tiny titans can swing their way to victory in a one on one duel. He's with his nine boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, a Jedi there was. Master he is. Yoda, his name. You're not going to keep doing that, are you? Tell me what to do. You cannot. Okay, the mysterious Grand Master Yoda devoted his life to the ways of the Force and to leading the Jedi Order, a group of noble peacekeepers. They took it upon themselves to maintain a state of tranquility in the galaxy. Don't be fooled by all that type of beast, though. They're like superhuman samurai. Jedi consistently take on hordes of hey. beasts by themselves, and they've been doing it for centuries, way before the start of the Galactic Republic. At which point, the Jedi became much more entangled in, uh, let's just say, government affairs. Oh, sure, that's what the space wizards were missing. Politics. The Jedi Council began weighing in on various matters to both protect democracy and avoid violent conflicts. Except they kind of screwed the poor on that front. The Clone Wars wasn't just a fantastic series by George Lucas and Dave Filoni, it was also an awesome miniseries by Danny Tarkovsky. And. It Don't get the respect they deserve. Why does the Jedi erase the Republic and saw the rise They're of the both Empire. amazing. Sure, that too. Spoilers, man. As the Jedi Grandmaster, Yoda led the Grand Army of the Republic, yes, a military Jesus. force almost entirely comprised of clones, aka disposable people. Man, that gets really messed up if you think about it too long. So I won't! Despite his small, frail appearance, Yoda could absolutely hold his own in combat. In fact, he's considered one of the most powerful Jedi of his era. He's trained all the greats like Obi-Wan, Mace Windu, and even Liam Neeson. Where do you think he got that particular set of skills from? <laughs> All of Yoda's 900 years of experience certainly came in handy, like when he battled Count Dooku and Darth Sidious, two of the most powerful Sith Lords ever known. Both Jedi and Sith usually come with the standard issue lightsaber, a badass weapon for a more badass age. They're pretty versatile too, with seven different forms of combat styles. And don't think Yoda's gonna miss out on all that laser sword swinging? He's mastered all seven styles, even though he's only two feet high! Hell, most lightsabers are taller than he is! Which is why he specializes in the fourth form, Ataru. This style focuses on utilizing the Force to increase the Jedi's capabilities, allowing them to attack at blurring speeds with incredible precision. Basically, he can flip-flop around like a ninja frog. Wait, is he actually Kermit? This does still mean Yoda has a sort of handicap in physical combat, as his stature requires him to use the Force far more than most opponents just to keep up. While the Force is beyond the body and seemingly infinite, too much effort all at once can put a strain on a person and even kill them. 
However, Yoda is truly a master of the Force, potentially more so than any other Jedi. He has moved starships with his mind and lifted hundreds of droids at once. He can also use mind tricks, illusions, and a technique called Tuna Minus. That's when Jedi block or catch and redirect energy, like lightning, blaster bolts, or even other lightsabers. It's safe to say that Yoda greatly prefers using the Force in combat over his Jedi weapon. Wills, if I ever get one of those laser swords and toss it away, you totally have permission to kill me. Interesting. Dummy, well, just let me see your hand. My hand? Now! Okay, now place your finger there. Um, no? Jesus, Marshall would never make me do something like this. Marshall? Who's Marshall? Huh? Oh, the DBX Trip Master guy. That's his real name. We were roommates in college. He is helping me track down my dad because he's my best bud. Oh, best bud, huh? What the hell was that? Finally, I won't be the only one. <laughs> Wait, what just happened? Anyway, the Force is capable of much more than a lightsaber. Kit Duran, a Jedi whose potential has been compared to Yoda, utilized it to move a gravity well generated void, basically a black hole created by a ship, to strike the right balance of pressure in order to move a singularity. Theoretically, you would need to exert an energy output equivalent to almost 14 petatons of TNT. Jedi are also super fast. They have block blaster bolts, of course, but they can also keep up with droid tri-fighters and magna guards, which both are clearly stated to have near light speed reflexes. Holy crap, who's building these things? Furthermore, Jedi can use the Force to glimpse into the distant future through meditation. They can even allow the Force to guide their movements and predict danger in advance. Needless to say, all of these incredible feats would be impossible without the Force. But with powers like that and a dash of political meddling, it was only a matter of time before these peacekeepers became soldiers, even generals. In a surprising move, Yoda actually chose to engage the rising Separatist threat with an army of his own, personally kicking off the Clone Wars himself. Too bad it was, as the Fishman says, Trail. The war took a sour turn, and the demise of the Jedi became all but assured. By the time they put the pieces together, it was too late. The Order fell into darkness. Or like brutally murdered into darkness. And you know, it's kind of their fault in a way. They were so committed to talking about peace, but at the same time, they're like really, really good at killing people. Why do peacekeepers need to be so specifically trained in murder? So uncivilized. Well, just get over yourself. If you had a lightsaber, you'd want to use it as much as you could, too. Though the Jedi Order under Yoda did seem somewhat hypocritical, he would come to realize his follies. Like the Council's sanctimonious excuses for betraying students like Ahsoka when they were needed most. They ripped out our sweet Padawan Red to you, assholes! But, yeah, he finally figured out wars not make one great. Especially if you're a oh, you're a wrong. Wrong. by his mistakes and perturbed by the violence he helped bring upon the galaxy. Yeah, Yoda went into self imposed exile. No, he's he basically said it was a 10 11. That's why he's not a princess. Luke Skywalker. Yoda taught Luke everything he could before finally becoming one with the Force, gaining immortality as a spooky blue spirit, just like Obi Wan and Liam Neeson. And Luke, he went on to reverse many of the mistakes of Jedi's past. Ending the Empire, redeeming his father, bringing balance to the Force, and inspiring a new, different generation. In the end, Yoda's greatest lesson was... I was about to say, Luke's shit don't matter because the new trilogy is our greatest teacher. Uh, he still brought balance. His shit didn't matter. <laughs> Not he still had balance. He still kept the balance. He didn't, hey, he didn't destroy power. Palpatine he wasn't destroyed. Balance. He was destroyed. For a time. You know him as a cute corporate mascot that hangs out with other cute animals and lives a pretty normal domestic life. But did you know he's also an insanely powerful warrior mage that fights darkness to save the Disney universe alongside a young boy and his good old duck and dog buddies? No, not that dog, the other one. Ah, yes, welcome to the world of Kingdom Hearts, a collection of worlds where Kingdom Hearts is the heart of the worlds and the source of ultimate wisdom and power across all kingdoms and worlds. You know, my favorite thing about Kingdom Hearts is how straightforward it is. My favorite part is how it's ruled by that 92-year-old mouse wizard. Yep. Here he isn't just Mickey. He's King Mickey, the ruler of Disney Castle and the leader of the Guardians of Light, a group of Keyblade wielders who combat darkness. King Mickey and the other Guardians, like Sora, remember him, protect the worlds using magic and powerful weapons known as Keyblades. Those things are the real deal. They can perform a whole bunch of spells, deflect lasers, and even unlock almost anything. Get it? Is there keys? 
Mickey swung and a lot of keys around, but his current and best is his star cluster. The king under which Ripper's training as an apprentice to the great sorcerer. That lightsaber don't mean shit to that. After some <laughs> incidents involving a few too many brooms, he eventually became a sorcerer and keyblade master himself. Keyblades are basically like wands that can channel the user's magic for spells like Pearl, Mind Shield, and Faith Bubbly, which are all based on light energy magic. He can also heal himself and others with Kiraga and Healing Light, and that's honestly still just the tip of the iceberg. With the stops of spell, he can freeze time for the length of an entire battle. Damn! Then there's Mickey's most powerful and most legendary spell, Ultima. Which is basically a massive, devastating release of all of Mickey's light magic at once. The only downside is these spells do require a lot of magic energy to use, which is also limited to Mickey's own energy. Also, he does need the Keyblade to channel it. There's not much the mouse can do without his Keyblade, except for be a cute and cuddly mascot. Well, even if he does lose it, Mickey can immediately summon the Keyblade back to his hand. Whoa, let me try. I really see the false in there. Boomstick, if you really want another beer, just go get one. No, that can reverse that. It works. No, it was just me. Of course. Well, Keyblades can also be used to lock worlds and doors in order to keep out Heartless, which are corrupted beings split from the darkness of a person's heart with a desire to consume. Wait a second, Wiz. Pluto is a dog, but so is Goofy. But Goofy gets to walk around and fight with Sora and Donald, and Pluto just eats and sleeps like a normal dog. This must mean that Pluto is Goofy's heartless. Do you have a concussion? Oh, always. Oh, On top of all of his advanced magic, Mickey's mega tough. When heartless stack up, they can form a huge mass and take the shape of a giant twister called a demon tower. And Mickey's tanked a couple beatings from him. He's also survived this huge explosion from when the Keyblade was destroyed. Yeah, it means the X-Blade. It's just pronounced like Keyblade, even though it's just one Keyblade. Ah, oh, this series is so confusing. Most Keyblades are capable of equally incredible feats. Sora could slice through several buildings with his Keyblade, and Mickey's rescued him on more than one occasion. Which makes sense. He's the leader, after all, and can match any of them in power. But Sora's no joke. He went up against Hercules, a demigod that launched a 1,600-ton rock titan into space. But that's nothing compared to his dad, Zeus. That guy can move stars, and not even he can compete with the foes that Mickey's tangling with. The Guardians of Light and their Keyblades no, are immensely strong, but they also have great speed. Well, we'll tie, we'll tie this one, but they will move far them. above the speed of light in order to travel across galaxies, from the Radiant Garden back to the Keyblade Graveyard in a matter of seconds. What? And like any great ruler, Mickey's also remained a constant pillar of hope for all, even during some of the darkest times. And with the help of his friends, the king was able to bring the darkness to an end and stop Xehanort, a key player who has been in the middle of the kingdom of hearts. 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 While Sora battled Xehanort, Mickey and the rest of the Guardians finally closed Kingdom Hearts for good, preventing the power from falling into the wrong hands. That mouse had it all figured out. The real key to saving the world is your friends. If each one of them also has a super powerful magic sword, that's also a key. Despite his long journey, King Mickey never wavered and led the way with his optimism, perseverance, and most important of all, the light inside. Now, Sora, what you call this door for good? Don't worry, there will always be a door to the light. Alright, the combatants are set. We run the day to the oh, so you got so you so you If you want some extra force in the set, try out Blue Chew. Oh, oh, give me the little Greek. I'll give you Yoda. Blue Chew. Blue Chew is Alright, I'm sticking with the mouse. More Yoda, bro. Come on! But in true Yoda, I don't know what you're doing. You're making mistakes in the Yoda. It's overall super comfort. Do not come. Promo code PVC to receive your first phone. Yoda. Let the battle begin! Let's help, guys. Oh! You ain't just fucked up, didn't you, Walter? Oh! Difficult to find who you are. A king, you must be. And to challenge me, you must be. A master. Oh, okay. Maybe you got something for that. 
Somebody else, watch it. If you say so. My first tool is not. You could have fooled me. Kingdom Hearts, Mickey. You don't have to be thinking about Kingdom Hearts. You probably thought you probably were just thinking some regular ass Disney Channel fucking um, Mickey Mouse. Now I got Kingdom Mr. Hearts, Mr. but you didn't think about Kingdom Hearts, Mickey. But still, Yoda, Master Yoda, to... the Ultimate Warrior. Come on now, bro. I'm like the Ultimate Jedi. And I'm like, 
Yeah, bro, it's just like, hey. Thought you, you thought you were fine. So the people that support me and want to see me when I'm Nobody sorry. Nobody's supporting you anymore. You you lost your support. I'm sorry, y'all. I keep on lose. I am really sorry, bro. This is not planned. This shit's not rigged. I'm not picking to lose. I'm not. I'm picking, thinking like, oh, well. I don't even know, bro. I gave you a bro, chance. Sorry. I, I gave you Oh, so you knew. No, I didn't. Know. Bro, okay, no, don't, don't, don't. First off, don't even bring that accusation into the shit. No. I made sure not to look at any of these fucking death battles at all. Bro, I'm gonna start I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start hitting. If, if anything, your ass might need to start looking. You might need to start cheating, because you need to start catching up, my guy. Yeah, I'm getting my ass whooped. Hey, I'm getting cooked. <laughs> hey. What a wonderful day! <laughs> what a wonderful day! What a wonderful day! Any old rules for me, man? I'm sorry, guys. I'm I'm fucking trash. I'm trash. I am the Pistons. Yeah, yeah. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. Now we got ears. It's time for cheers. Hot dog, hot dog, no problem. <laughs> I'm the Pistons, y'all. So I'm, so I'm uh, guys. I probably I'll get it together. I just gotta find it. What's the next death battle we got planned? Y'all got the next one already planned? Nope. Do you want to already pick one? <laughs> no, we can. We can wait. Let them pick. Let the comment pick. Y'all yeah. pick us the next death battle, man. Y'all, y'all pick something new. Oh, I like that Deadpool, Deadpool versus, versus Ash. Ash. Yeah, that's a good one. That sounds pretty lit. I think we did Let's Luther versus Doctor Doom. Yeah, we did that one. Yeah. Or did we? Or did we do Dark Dark Vader versus Doctor Doom? Oh, uh, I don't know. I thought we did Let. Maybe we didn't do Dexter Let. But I'm trying to think. I don't know. Oh, Palpatine versus Zape. Uh, Zenhor. Yeah. Keep him hard. Huh. Well, I don't want to do that anymore. You know, he'll get my man's body. Yeah. You know? Ooh, what's that? Oh, Shadow versus Rujo? Yeah. We'll definitely have some for y'all. Black like, Girl versus Spider Gwen. Mmm. You know, we'll let y'all pick something or we'll yeah. find something for the next one, but. We'll put a poll. I gotta get right, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah, you ain't catching up, my guy. You wanna just give me the dub for this season? No, no, no. I'm catching up. LeBron did it. He came back from 3 1. Nigga, this is 6 1. <laughs> you tell me it's a 6 1 deficit. Alright, dude, we're now. What's it, first one 10? Huh? I don't even know how we're doing it, but. Shit, let's go first one 10. First one 10? Yeah. Then we'll come back with another season. I feel like 10 is already too soon. You know what, for what? 15. Probably 15. Okay, I can definitely come back. Why are you telling me to quit then? You made it sound like it was over. Oh, no, you should still quit because based on, based on the way you picked now. If I went out, I win the whole thing. I just gotta win out. Alright. That's not, but knowing you, that's not possible. Hey, let me know down in the comment section what y'all talking about this death die. Let me know if y'all think I can come back and win this thing. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like, yeah. Let us He's know. going to fifteen. What are what are it's what, six one? What are Jay's one chances? six? What are Jay's chances of coming out as the winner? We all think my chance of coming back. I think I'm coming back, guys. I hope y'all believe in me. The people that rock with me. If y'all don't believe in me, I understand. I wouldn't. I wouldn't believe in me either. But I promise you, I'm not giving up. I'm gonna get this right. I'm gonna pick some right picks pretty yeah, soon, guys. You have a zero percent chance. I'm gonna pick some right picks, guys. You have a zero percent chance. Just know that. It's not over, bro. Nah. It's not over. That's all I'm gonna say. So, let me know what you guys oh. think down below if y'all believe in me. Are you sure? Are you sure about that? I'm not sure. I'm not for sure. Awesome, bro. Y'all, y'all let me know, man. But overall, fun death battle, good matchup. It lived to the hype that I thought it would. Um, Oh boy, 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 what a great death battle win for me. Yeah, shut the hell up. Oh boy. Oh. Shut the hell up, Mickey. <laughs> Can't no more your eyes. But, um. Uh, that's why Minnie been messing with Goofy. But, uh. But uh, didn't you hear? Wasn't it like last year they announced that Disney, Minnie and Mickey split? Yeah, that might broke up. <laughs> she left your ass. Knowing ass voice. Um. No, nah, overall, man. It, she was, she was holding us back in you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fun death battle, but, um. Uh, Tough loss, man. Yeah, tough loss. Yeah, sure, sure was. That was a good one, though. That was a good fight. That was a fun one. Just tough loss. Yeah. You know, definitely had a lot of heart in this one. No, yeah. nice. Mm -hmm. No, I did. Oh, no, I, I wasn't trying to make a joke there. I was just saying, you know, as far as like when he hit that, um, he said the force is strong with me. He's like, I'll try. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, mm -hmm. Yoda, and then Yoda hit the wise words do what you do not. There yeah. is no try. Damn, we lost, bro. Damn. Yeah, no, that was, was lit. It was a good one. Death Battle, keep doing y'all's things. Uh, I don't think y'all have made any ones this for a while now. I'm just waiting for uh, looking, looking well, to see what y'all's uh, next one is, though. I'm, I'm very excited for that. Whatever y'all got planned. Damn. Ooh, Frieza versus Megatron. Damn, we lost. Yeah. 
Um, but yeah, we'll be sure to come back with another one soon. Uh, let us know your thoughts on Mickey versus Yoda uh, death battle. And uh, did you agree with the results and the outcome? Uh, be sure to comment down below your thoughts on it. And if you enjoyed this reaction, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. I'm DeAndre. You're undisputed winner to this point. Y'all know who I am, man. I'm not reason to loser. We'll be better, guys. Let me know if y'all still rock with me. Nobody rocks with you, bro. You, you lost. You lost your whole fan. Don't give up on me, guys. Nah, they give it up. We got one to fifteen. Six one to Andre. One to six to me. We gotta make some right picks. All we gotta do is get a roll going. We get a couple. We get one win. We can build off that. We just gotta get one first. Just gotta see one go down. So, thank you guys if y'all still supporting and rocking with me. If y'all not, I understand. You, you said the same shit last time. I'm there at car now. Mm. You know, car. No, but I really do believe that. I, 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 hey, y'all, we're going to get one. We're going to get one. Maybe, 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 that, that's maybe, maybe you just need to start watching them before you. No, I'm going to get one, and that's when the roll going to start. Because that's the only way. I'm going to get one, and the roll going to start. I'm not worried. Okay. All right. Y'all right. right. stay with me, okay? Guess we gonna stay rocking with me. Stay with me. We in this together. <sighs> okay. Uh, but yeah, let us know your thoughts on it down below in the comments. And like we said, hope you guys enjoyed. DeAndre. Sponsor. This is Dre. Peace.